evening folks how are you doing yes it's uh, starting to drizzle i'm sitting outside here because i wanted to show you guys something uh constant up updates and constant upgrades of the cars that i have the weevils in my garage as you know the uh, saga recently got the uh, seat covers which look really really nice very very happy a very uh, cheap solution to the uh, problem that i had with the the ripping on this side and uh, I think there was a hole there somewhere. But anyway, that's not the reason for the update. You already know about that. The reason for the update is, well, take a look at my handbrake lever. It's kind of gross. Yeah, it's got chipping and cracking, you see? Pieces of it coming off in my finger. Can you see that? Yeah, so anyway, look what I've got from AME Auto Parts. It's not a new one. It's a used one. But it's lovely. Ken cleaned it up for me. It's really, really nice. So that's going to go here. That's going to be installed soon. Very, very happy about that. And while we're here... Oh yeah, this is my Chris gear knob, which I cleaned up myself. And uh, it just it just feels so right, you know, in this car. I absolutely love it. So yeah, anyway. So while we're here, let's go have a look at what's happened with the Sentra. It's not very good news, actually. Yeah, but you know what? Whatever it takes, because that car is just absolutely brilliant. I, so I'm gonna show you the show you the Sentra now, yeah? So give me a second while I get out of here. Okay. Right, so well, give you a very quick look at the saga. So yeah, the saga is looking really good, very happy. And now let's go have a look at the Sentra. So what's happened with the Sentra? Remember how I said we uh, suspected the oil pump would be an issue? But, uh, and yes, sure enough, it is. So miraculously, where well, the oil pump goes over here, it's down there somewhere. That's, uh, yeah, this is the old one. Oh, uh, this is the, uh, sorry, that's the housing. Okay, okay, sorry. So it's still, yeah, it's still down there. And what we suspect, now they've opened up the uh, cylinder head cover, what we suspect is that the previous owner might have not really serviced this car very often. In fact, he might have just been topping up oil because there's a lot of gunk. In fact, I pulled off a, uh, a piece of carbon just now. So this is all going to be cleaned up. And the new one is right here. So they managed to actually get me a new one, which is really awesome. Yeah. It looks expensive and yes it is it's about 500 plus ringgit but the fact that they managed to get a new one that's just awesome so yeah whatever it takes because this car is just brilliant to drive thank you Sibu. thank you just it's just absolutely brilliant to drive and uh, i can't wait to take it for another run yeah that's all the parts that have come off the car when they have to change that as you can see i changed my uh, engine mounts as well but there that's the cylinder head cover and uh, I guess a new gasket's got to go in but this car is going to be fine once it's ready yeah I'm looking at a four-figure bill I'm pretty sure I'm looking at a four-figure bill but whatever it takes because that's really gross so they're going to clean up all, all this as well and then we shall do another run I think we're going to have to change this horse Sifu ah Sifu ini horse lain hari tukar kalau boleh dia sudah reput ah tengok so yeah, whatever it takes, it's going to be done. There's a lot of gunk inside here, which they have to clean up. So yeah, just short of a top end overhaul, just to get to the fuel pump, sorry, the oil pump down there. So yeah, that's got to come off, that's got to come off, and then the new one's got to go in. Okay, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, very quick update on the Sentra, the saga of the Sentra. Still doing a lot of stuff to it, but she's going to be absolutely sorted. Thank you for watching. Bye.
So, folks, we got some good news and we got some bad news in regards to my Genting Run Taxi Sentra V13. Well, okay, as you can see, well, the cylinder head is already, the cylinder head cover is already off. The camshafts are out. Thank God the camshafts are still in really good order. I'll show it to you in a second. Yeah, we cleaned up the water pump. It's still okay. But because the uh, cylinder head came off, that's a whole new gasket set. And uh, while they took it off, they found some very interesting uh, issues here. Might look okay, right? But no, there's a lot of carbon buildup inside. And the issue that I was having at high revs, the uh, oil was not getting pushed up here. So basically, it was uh, running without oil. And uh, that's that was causing the katak 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 sound. Only when I was going fast, when I was going slow, it was okay. So it's another situation where the car has not been used to running really, really fast. And also, sad to say, lack of maintenance. I don't think this car got serviced very often. Um, Ken suspects that it was just engine top up, engine top up, engine top up, oil, top up, oil, top up, oil, top up, oil, whenever it was low. And that caused a lot of carbon buildup inside. See, bits and bits of carbon. You can feel it. It's like uh, grains of sand inside. So what they've recommended is, since they've already taken off the cylinder head, they're going to have to change the gasket anyway. It's 280 ringgit for the gasket set. The uh, good news is the oil pump will fit perfectly. A new, brand new oil pump. Uh, that's already about 500 bucks right there. So now the recommendation is to remove the cylinder head, grind the valves, clean up everything, sandpaper down or rather clean the pistons. And uh, basically it's a top end overhaul. So yeah, the dreaded top end overhaul. But you know what, since, since the cylinder head's already out, might as well get it done. Because if later they put in the new oil pump and the oil still can't come up because it's so badly clogged, then they're gonna have to remove it again. And that's another gasket set, another 200 ringgit plus gasket set. So might as well do it once and for all. Yeah, because this car is a keeper. So, and even if I was gonna sell it, you know, uh, this, this just uh, makes the value even more because the car has had a top end overhaul. But uh, no plans to sell this car. I love driving this car. It's so quick, it's so nice. And because sometimes the parts are hard to get, it's a bit of a challenge. And you know, I love a challenge. So yeah, have a good look. Those are the 16 valves. Two, four, six, eight, 12, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yes. 16 valves. <laughs> wow. So this is the first time I'm seeing the inside of the engine of a B13 Nissan Sentra and you can tell it's not very good. They were using a, a screwdriver just now and pulling out just huge amounts of, of carbon build up inside, which is really, really bad. But hey, basically getting a brand new B13 engine after this is done because they're gonna grind the valves. Um, uh, maybe I'll ask them to point and polish uh, once, once and for all now. I want to keep it keep it stock. But yeah, all for the betterment of the car. And it couldn't be at a better place because uh, the guys here, they really know these old cars very, very well. So Ken, do your best, yeah? Yep. For, this, for this old car. I know she's in good hands. And right now they're cleaning the shims over there at the back. They're cleaning the timing chain. Very, very cool. So yeah, basically... Uh, a new engine is going to be born from this. And here I was just worried about this little cracking hose. <laughs> so much more to do than that. Okay, you all stay tuned. Take care. Lots more to come. It was confirmed the oil pump was gone. It's down there. It's, it's not, uh, not working well anymore. So if they put in the new one and uh, all that uh, gunk is still there, it's still not going to be able to push the oil up. So might as well get that done once and for all. Stay tuned, folks. Lots more to come. Howdy folks, so just a very quick update. Yes, that's the cylinder head of my Sentra over there. That is all chemical. It's eating out all the, the gunk that was inside. This chemical was actually red earlier. It's now gone black. Camshafts are in here as well, taking out all this. So once this is done, you'll turn it over with new chemical to get rid of all the muck inside here. And uh, so you can see now the engine of the... Ken, uh, what, what chemical is that? Uh? Uh, the engine can be to to clean out clean the up, uh, okay. oil. So after that, have to turn upside down. Yeah, do upside again. Down. Right. Let's go see the engine. So now the engine is pretty much. This is what a top end overhaul will uh, require. They're gonna clean up the uh, intakes as well over there. 
and uh, change the new gaskets. This is going to be sanded down. The pistons and piston rings are still okay, that's good. Uh, just a bit dirty, but they're going to sand this all down and uh, clean it all up. So yeah, lots of work. It's a big job, very labor intensive. Of course, I'd never try and do this by myself, but uh, the car is in good hands and it's pretty much going to be overhauled and done once it's ready. Yes, I can't wait to do another Genting run with this car. So there we go. That's the very quick update for you. New gaskets will go in in there as well. So yeah, I'm really amazed at that chemical at how it's cleaning up the uh, the engine so well. I've also told him to change the rubber hoses because these are all hidden underneath the engine. So wherever it's cracked or looks like it's gonna fail anytime soon, all this will be changed as well. So yeah, it's a big job and uh, but it's gonna get done so that this car will live again.